I'm back. I'm back in zone one. It's a miracle. It must be a song about miracles. I'm in zone one. Uh, where was I then? Um, well, the William Cross was 1688. I was 1639. And it was... The Y was 1612. I was 1603. But I went to the left of the average. And the average was a lot closer to the William Cross than I was. That was 32 out on the X and... Two out on the Y. If I remember rightly, it was 1656 and 1610. So, yeah, the average was even closer than I was. So, uh, I'm happy with that. Zone 1, I got all of my one pound fifty back. Result. Yeah, I um, don't know what else I can say about that. I'm pleased about that. Let's have a look at this week's picture. Uh, no, no, I'm jumping again, yeah? Let's look at the judging. It's because i got places to be and things i got to do and I'm in a rush again. Aren't I always in a rush? Let's have a look at the judging then, see what they did. And here we are. Eight judges this week. Uh, Matt's still not there. It's the third week now he hasn't been there. Um, i got a feeling he, perhaps he's left then. But Kieran's uh, running the show again this week. Seems to know what he's doing. Nice chap. So what do the judges do? Well, look how narrow that band is from uh, the ginger guy. Really, really narrow. I think ours was... Ours wasn't as narrow as that, I don't think. It was... Uh, it was a little bit wider than that, but we still thought it was um, a narrow band. And I suppose that was pretty obvious. I mean, where else could he be looking? Um, so, yeah, really, really narrow there. And the height was always going to be the issue. So, Conor McGregor over here, it was hard to tell where he was looking, whether he was looking sort of lower or upper. But the average did make sense, uh, obviously, because um, our average was very close to it. So, uh, yeah, I don't think the judging was that bad. Can you take any out? Well... There's not one stray one up the top, is there? There's two together there, so you can't really take the two out if two people thought he was up there. And that one at the bottom isn't that far out from the cluster, so really you've got to leave them all in. Um, and I think the average worked out fine. All the better for it. Um, this is the end result. They didn't take any out. Uh, this this is as it was. They had a chat. I don't know what they talked about. I didn't watch it because usually it's bollocks, but... Uh, here we are. The average was pretty close this week. So I'd be pretty um, pretty safe guessing you that quite a few of you done well. I should imagine most of you were in zone one. And a couple of you would have had closest cars and possibly runners-up as well. Uh, I didn't recognise the name of the winner. I haven't watched that video yet. I didn't recognise the name of the winner as one of our um, viewers. But I'll go back and watch it later. Uh, okay, let's have a look at uh, this week's picture then. Right, I only looked at this picture about 10 minutes before I started the uh, the video. So I stuck one cross in there. That was my first glance. Um, so this is obviously uh, a friendly match between the stylistics and the temptations. Uh, you have to be old enough to understand that joke. Um, why have I gone where I've gone? Well... Look how sharply this guy is looking to the right. His right is... Yeah, his right. Uh, he's looking sort of really, really sharp up there. Uh, I don't know. Perhaps a little bit more to the left, a little bit more to the right. I'm not sure. Uh, this guy on the left... I put him looking there, and I had the other eye sort of looking up there. Which, yeah, they don't cross over there. But, if you think about it... Um, the ball is in front of this player in the front, sort of, um, slightly. So that ball is, is is further towards us, which makes it look more... It makes more sense now when you look at the player at the back. If you think that he's looking forward towards us, uh, the first cross I've put there sort of makes sense. Well, it does to me. You might think it's mental, but to me it does. So uh, first cross, I quite like where I've put it so far. I draw the other eye up there. See, I've got this fella in the front here looking looking up in that direction there because he is looking sharply to his right. Uh, but I can't tell what they're doing because it doesn't look like either of them have headed it unless he's dived and headed. No, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be above him if he dived and headed it, would he? So it's coming towards them, it must be. But I don't know what the fellow in the front is doing. Is he falling over? Or some of you might see it a different way, and you'll you, you'll understand what's going on. But uh, I, I really don't in this picture. I can't see if that like, anybody's headed it, so he must be coming towards them. But I don't know what the fellow in the front is doing. 
So there we are. That's what I put that first one so far. What's the coordinate for that? I'll put it in the uh, in the comments. Two five eight five one three four five. So um, let me know what you got on, guys, because I'm sure a lot of you did quite well. I am having a problem with um, comments at the moment in that sometimes I can't see the comments at all. Uh, I very rarely get emails anymore to say that a comment has been left. It's a bit of a nightmare actually with YouTube because you, you, I. I don't get a chance to answer all of the comments because quite often I can't see them. I don't get an email and uh, I can't always access the comments on my uh, YouTube. So it's a bit of a nightmare there. So apologies if I uh, if I haven't answered you or, or put a, a like next to, your, next to your comment. So that's where my first one is this week. Subject to change, of course. Uh, let me know what your coordinate is now for Saturday and we'll see if we can have another go on a weekend at uh, getting into zone 1 or indeed a winner let's have a quick look at uh, Revcoms I, I've only got tickets on this camper van uh, it was not that I was necessarily after the camper van anymore because as you know I bought one now a cheap one, second hand one uh, that's coming along nicely I'll be making a video on that soon the diesel night heater has been installed. It cost me 400 quid. Um, I put a compressor fridge in there, which keeps food at a specific temperature that I set it at. So great for milk and cheese and bacon and eggs and stuff. Uh, that was another 100 quid. Uh, I bought a porta potty, but that was too tall to go into the seating area. So I sent that back and got a smaller one. That'll fit under there perfectly with about half an inch to spare. And what else turned up? Well, the telly arrived today. I ordered a 19-inch TV, which I thought was 12 volt, because that's what I searched for on uh, Amazon. But when it turned up, there was no option for it to be 12 volt. It's only mains from the house, 240 volt. So that's gone back, and now I've ordered another one, which is a 12 volt. That may have been partly my fault. But yeah, the upgrades are coming along uh, nicely. And when they're finished, hopefully by the weekend, I'll make a, a video on a weekend entitled something like My First Camper Van. And then, of course, I'll have to do an episode when I stay away in it for the first night. Uh, but I'm waffling now, aren't I? Um, let's get on to what they added last night for next Monday. Now, I didn't realise at the time, and I've missed these a few times, this aerial atom... You can have that or the cash alternative of 100,000. I didn't notice that. So the only thing, I wasn't interested in this Focus RS or this uh, Arteon or this truck or the Mustang. I did like the look of this uh, Fiesta. And that Fiesta is the ST line Vignali. Uh, and it's the 155 brake horsepower one. So uh, that's a lovely little car that is. So I did get a couple of tickets on that. But after I bought them... That's when I noticed that this uh, aerial atom had a cash alternative of a hundred grand, so I just grabbed one ticket on it just to be in it, really, because I mean the odds is twenty thousand tickets. But I didn't realise these aerial atoms cost so much money. I mean, to give a hundred thousand pound cash alternative, the car must be worth more than that. So uh, uh, I didn't think they were that expensive. I don't know how much I thought they were. I just didn't think they were that expensive. And they added another one to the auto draw. So we've got auto draw in in tomorrow with this Skoda Octavia VRS. Uh, there's one ends on Friday with this Mini. Nice cheap tickets. Higher odds, 10,000 tickets, but uh, cheap tickets, less than three quid. And they added a Golf R on, which ends on Sunday. But it's a manual Golf R. And I thought, oh, that must be an older one then. But it clearly says there's a 2014, so it's 10 years old. But obviously it's going to be in superb condition. So that's it for me. Let me know who you got on. Leave a coordinate uh, for Saturday. And good luck, everyone.